Hello everyone. Today we start a tutorial video series of AC 900 exam. We will follow the latest AC 900 exam syllabus and create videos accordingly. At the end of this video, I shall explain how to get a free exam voucher for Azure exams. And it's a humble request to you, those who are watching this channel for the first time, please do subscribe this channel and support. All right. Let's get into the video. So let us check the exam syllabus from the Microsoft official page. To get it, just go to Google and type AC 900 exam. From the listed website, you have to click on the first one. Exam AC 900 Microsoft Azure Fundamental. They have given a brief, <coughs> they have explained about the AC 900 exam over here. And here you can see review the AC 900 study guide. You click on this particular link, this will land on the exam syllabus. So skill measured as of January 23rd, 2024. <clears throat> so this will be the latest syllabus. Skills at glance, these are the skills that we are looking for. Describe describe cloud concepts, describe Azure architecture and services, describe Azure management and governance, and how much percentage it covers, it is written over, it is given over here. The first thing we will start from the describe cloud concepts, which covers 30 percentage. So in this video, we will uh, cover define cloud computing and define cloud models like including public, private and hybrid. So these two points we will cover in this particular video. All right. So let's start from what is cloud computing. What is cloud computing? For a definition, we can say cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of IT resources over internet, including servers, storage, database, networking, software, analytics and intelligence. Instead of owning and maintaining a physical data center and servers, you are you can access these resources as a service from a cloud provider. You are basically able to rent those services on demand. In many cases or most of the cases, you only pay for what you use. For example, if you use for two hours, you only pay for those two hours. So let us check a real life example for this cloud computing. Streaming services is one among them. Streaming services is a real life example for cloud computing. So stream services like Netflix, Spotify, Amazon Prime, all these are all these are real life example for cloud computing. For example, in Amazon Prime, we watch movies, web series, short films, and other videos in uh, on rental basis. We pay rent for uh, to Amazon Prime and we watch. Uh, videos like web series movies and all so this is a real life example for cloud computing let us check what all cloud services are provided from microsoft azure so this is the azure portal uh, the home page of azure portal you should have an account in azure microsoft azure with a credit card to log into this page so first thing you'll have to sign up with a credit card and you can log into this azure portal once you land on the Azure portal, you could see the services that is provided from Microsoft Azure. If you click on create resource, you could see what all resources you can create in Microsoft Azure, like virtual machine, web app. If you can customize an app and you can uh, integrate that with Microsoft Azure, SQL database, functions app, uh, logic app, automation, public IP addresses, and Azure backup. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, all these services are provided from Microsoft Azure. Uh, there are thousands of services that are provided from Microsoft Azure. All these are cloud services. You pay rent, you pay for the services. If you use the service for one hour, you pay money for one hour. For example, if you create a virtual machine, that machine you use it for a one day, you have to pay money only for that one particular day. This is something like you pay for what you use. And if you go to the marketplace, I'm just clicking on marketplace, thousands of other services where you, that, that, you, that is integrated to Microsoft Azure. So you can go through with the marketplace and uh, you can see what all offerings from Azure. So this is a brief description about Azure cloud services. Now we will discuss about the cloud models. There are three different types of cloud model, public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. So let's start with the public cloud. Public cloud is just as it sounds. It's a cloud platform that is available for the general public. Public cloud is defined as computing services offered by third party providers over public internet, making them available to anyone who wants to purchase them. So 
So in this particular case with public cloud, Azure owns the hardware on their network and infrastructure as they are making them available to you or anyone with a credit card to be able to rent those services. So that's what we have been talking about. And when we talk about Microsoft Azure, usually we are talking about the public cloud. So this is the 90% of the time we are talking about the Azure public cloud. We are talking about Azure private cloud. The private cloud is actually based on privately owned hardware and networking. So the private cloud is defined as clouding services offered either over the internet or the private internal network and only to select uses instead of general public. So this is the type of cloud environment that you need to be invited to be part of. So you can consider this to be something like government cloud would be a private cloud. It's looking and acting like a cloud except, except either the customer owns or they lease or they have exclusive access to the hardware. Now Microsoft Azure does provide a private cloud software. It's called a Stack HCI that you can rent and buy from them to use on your own hardware. So we move to the third one, hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud is a computing environment that combines both uh, private cloud and public cloud. Combines public and private cloud resources, offering a mix of flexibility and control. Organization can migrate sensitive data to the private cloud while leveraging public cloud resources for less critical tasks. So as I discussed in the beginning of this video, now we'll check how to get a free exam voucher, discount voucher for Azure exams. There are multiple ways to get the voucher from Microsoft. Microsoft Cloud Skill Challenge is one among them. This is the particular site where you can enroll or register for the Cloud Skill Challenge. Once you land on this page, you could see, achieve your career goals. You can be eligible for 50% of cost of a Microsoft certification exam by completing your challenge within 30 days. You have got 30 days to complete this challenge. So let us check the terms and condition for the eligibility. Once you click on this page, it will land over here where they have written the official rules. First thing that I want to show you the validity period. As you can see here, this offer ends on June 13th, 2024. So in next year, June 13th, this offer is valid. Now let us check the terms and condition in details. You have got 50% discount. So you will be receiving the 50% discount on the certificate exams are available for redemption starting on the collection completion date and are subject to the expiration date indicated upon receiving the voucher code via email. Which means once you receive the voucher code via email, you have got an expiration period so you'll have to schedule the exam before the expiration period now let us check what are the eligible exams for this cloud skill challenge if you complete the cloud skill challenge within 30 days you will be able to write exam az500 which is microsoft azure security technology ms102 microsoft 365 administrator azure ai engineer exam ai102 Azure Network Engineer exam AZ700 and you can see a big list over here and all these exams are included once we complete the cloud skill challenge. If you go to the terms and condition, there are only 30 days to learn it. You will have to complete the challenge. You will have to learn the <coughs> skill within 30 days. In certain countries, it is prohibited uh, like Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Sudan, Syria and all these countries it is prohibited. And the most important thing as I showed you this offer ends on June 13, 2024. So it is still valid for uh, one another one more year. In June 13, 2024 this offer is valid. And how to use the voucher you can go through with this site and get all these details. I don't want to get into each and every points. They have given some frequently asked questions. How do I start the challenge? To start this challenge, you register by clicking begin now button. You will be asked to log in to your Microsoft Lane account and will be added to the challenge. So let us just add one challenge and just check it out how it works. For that, I'm going over here and I want to learn 
Thomas 102, which is Microsoft 365 admin. So I have to click on get started. <coughs> Here you can see time to complete the challenge because I have already started it on uh, day before yesterday. So I don't have 30 days. I have only 20 day, 28 days are left. You will have to click on continue learning. It will provide you uh, certain documents to go through and certain videos to watch. Complete all these videos, watch all these videos, uh, go through the documents, learn it. Then you will be receiving 50% discount for the exam voucher. So this challenge you will have to complete within 30 days. Once you complete within 30 days, you will be receiving 50% discount voucher. There are 39 modules for this MS102. It may take 24 hours, 9 minutes to complete it. 2 hours per day. You can complete it within 12 days. So apart from the regular challenge, they have conducting a specific cloud skill challenge that starts on November 15, 2023 and ends on January 15, 2024. So let us check it what exactly it is. So for that, click on register now. That will land over here. It gives you the details about that particular challenge. Complete the challenge for a chance to win VIP event pass for the next Microsoft Ignite or Microsoft Build. We are running a sweep takes for lucky winners to receive a full event pass for the next Microsoft event, Microsoft Ignite. <coughs> and this challenge ends on January 15, 2024. You can check it out all the rules and regulations for attending this particular challenge and uh, you can do it accordingly. So this is all about the cloud skill challenge. We'll meet you in another video. Bye. Oh, <laughs>